Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just want to come on and talk to y'all for a little moment. But before we get off of today, let's get off to a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us, God, as God has protect us throughout this day. And I pray, Father God, that you uh, come to me. At and I pray, Father God, that you come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people answer to the truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people answer to the truth. And I thank for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. Now, what I want to speak to y'all about is um, how the Father already then spoke about these things up in the planet and how these things are supposed to work and how these things are supposed to be going, you know, in the, in the will of the Father. Um... He's already spoken about how the first should be last and the last shall be first. The rich will become poor and the poor will become rich. You see, what you don't understand or what you don't know is they're trying to hide their money. They're trying to hide all these things and, 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 and uh, run and, and, and do all these things, right? They're trying to do all these things. But they actually really owe the people of God. They will be free from slavery and bondage. The saints, the body of Christ, the hundred four four thousand, the children of God, the people of God, the people of the planet, the poor people of the planet, the chosen ones, all their family, them, all their kids, over me and my kids, over the whole entire planet. Up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit man, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit man, 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 up in the universe, up in the spirit man. I pray and I prophesy and declare the creed on the sound of my voice commanded. Um, it was something I was trying to catch too, though. Excuse me. But yeah, you got to you got to understand. You got to know though, everything that he's been speaking about. Everything that he's been speaking about is real and is going to happen. So you can, a lot of people don't understand. They they um, they say these things, but they don't know how true and how real the Father is. See, he will be coming. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. He will be coming. He will be making his debut. He will be making his debut. You understand? The greatest show on earth. Y'all thought y'all seen something. The king will be coming. You understand? So I'm telling you, prepare ye the way for the Lord. I want y'all to know. I want y'all to understand. He's coming. They have been trying to escape their judgment. They have been trying to escape their karma. They have been trying to do all these things. They would not escape. I, I'm telling you, these things... Listen. They spoken these things to um to the forefathers. And they let them know, you know, uh he let them know, he let them know uh Abraham them. He let them know that uh that all the prophecies and things will be coming to pass. You hear me? So you gotta understand this. When the father says something, he means it. He means it, you know? And that's why I told a lot of people, I said, if you, you don't understand how serious and how real he is when it comes to him um, 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 doing his business. When he does those, when he does the business and things like this here, right? When he does his business, he's telling you, he's serious. This is kingdom business. When he say, okay, I want you to give him this. I want you to do that. I want you to do that. If they do not comply, 
after what he said and what he's spoken and what he's doing in the earth. And if they thinking that they're going to stop him, he will be coming. You don't know my father. He will show up. I'm telling you. His word. And everybody be hollering about, oh, God is a God that he, he, may, he cannot lie. That's right. He can't lie and he won't lie. If they don't do what they're supposed to do, he will be coming. And I got a good, good feeling he will be coming. Because it's real. Is 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 uh is very real. He um he not already told them about these things. He not already told them what to do. So this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. What I'm trying to get y'all to know. Put that up. That. <clears throat> y'all gotta understand how real God is. That's why I want you to know how real he is. Not just how real he is, how how much he um when he speaks about something or he says something that is it is absolute. You hear me? It's absolute. Because he means it. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a purpose. Most times, sometimes he don't speak unless there's a purpose. And when he speaks about it, 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 it has to happen because the father knows how powerful he is. He knows. So that's why I tell you, you got to learn how to use wisdom upon a lot of things, you know, and upon... um uh, um. Um, that's why he gives us these these things, you know, wisdom and knowledge and things like this here, and we have to use it to our best abilities. So therefore, I'm gonna do all I can to be more like my father. Everything. One thing I am though, I am a man of my word. Excuse me, let me rephrase that. I am a God of my word. You understand? So, I want y'all to know these things that if you're going to do something, you're going to, you're going to, that's why the Lord say, um, strive, strive to be more like him every day, you know? Um, the Lord has been working on me for a little minute now. It takes a lot to master self. It takes a lot to master a lot of things. Now you're throwing stuff. It takes a lot to master a lot of things. But it, it's, it got to start from somewhere. You got to defeat self. You hear me? You got to defeat self. You got to work on yourself. You got to want to work on yourself. Now with this, first shall be last and this last shall be first. You got to come out of sin. People got to come out of their sin. I don't care what you say, how you want to do it. You got to bear that cross and you got to come out of sin. If the Father going to give you something, he's, he's trying to give you something, trying to show you something, and give you gifts and talents and things like this here, because this is what was going on and things like this here. They don't want y'all to know, and they don't want y'all to have your gifts and your talents, because this is what's happening as well. He's giving you your gifts and talents from heaven. This is what they ain't speaking about either. Your powers. Yeah. Yeah, your gifts and your talents. All these things coming online. See, what y'all don't know about the children of Israel, what y'all don't know about those, uh, 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 
the uh, uh, the children of God and things back then they had power. Back then, even up in the um uh, um, see we are to be honest with you, we are the ones that built those uh those Egyptian those um pyramids. We're the ones who built them. Telekinesis powers, all those things are real. This is what Jesus teaches us, right? This is what the Father teaches us, right? So, with the ancient gods back then and things like this here, they were moving things and doing things with their minds. Jesus did the same thing. He told Paul to go out there. <laughs> Paul said, um, he said, we need an arm. Um. He said, we got to pay Caesar his money. You know, and Jesus like, give what, you know. I'm just using a, uh, a, 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 a message though. I don't know what that noise is, that ladder. But Jesus, uh, oh, he messed with those tapes. He said, give Paul, I mean, give Caesar what owes, you know, what's owed to Caesar and give what owes to God. But he said, um, listen to the message though, okay? He said, Peter, I mean, he said, uh, I think that it might have been Peter Paul. One of them. Don't quote me on that. But he said, um, listen. Okay. He said, I know Jesus, but we got to go, we, we got to pay it pay them so they won't be, you know, up on us like this, you know, and, and instead of harassing us, I just want to pay them to harass, stop from harassing us. He said, all right. He said, I'll tell you what. Listen now, y'all listening? He said, I'll tell you what. Don't listen. Don't. This is why I tell people when, you, when I'm speaking and things like this, listen to the moral of the story. This is why I give it to you so you can hear the moral so that you can hear what you need to hear so it can unlock your mind. Listen to the moral of the story. Jesus said, the first fish you catch. Are you listening? The first fish that you catch is going to have money in his mouth. And he looking at him like, what? He said, don't, don't. You gotta believe," he said. "Don't, don't, don't. You know, don't get me to that. Don't give me that right now. Just believe me when I tell you. Just go catch a fish. Just go catch a fish. And the first fish that you catch, the the fish gonna have money in his mouth. Just like that. Supernatural things, gifts, talents." This is what me and the Father and, 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 and all the angels and everyone has been fighting for you for it as well. This is part of the kingdom. Yeah, the supernatural things, don't forget about that. See, this is the thing, that's why the Lord said, yeah, it's okay to have, you know, little tangible things. But don't let that run to your head. That's why the Lord said we are from, we, we live in this world, but we are not from this world. So what God is going to give you is more tangible than that physical thing that you can touch. It's what you can't see. It's what's eternal that is going to stay with you forever. So I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment in time. Get to some fast, some praying, some reading your word, build a relationship with the Lord, commune with the Lord, and uh, this is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.